Hello friends and welcome back to Bulldog Books. Let's start our nonsense word practice. Remember you have one minute to get as many of the nonsense words as you can. Then you're going to pause the video and you are then going to see how many words you were able to do. As soon as you hear the bell, it's time to begin. Are you ready? Okay, friends, now's the part where you will pause the video, go back, count and see how many of those nonsense words you were able to read in that minute. Keep track of your score. Now we get to go back to our very funny, remember we were reading this book called Bink and Golly Two for One. And just remember where we were because we started out where these two girls, I, their sisters, they go to the state fair and Bink was trying to win the world's largest donut. And if you recall, it didn't go that great. So let's start out with our next chapter. I didn't know if you guys knew that you were reading a chapter book or not, but this is totally a chapter book. So what's the title of this chapter? So take a look at these two signs. We'll read them together because I'm not sure if you know this word, amateur. Amateur talent show. You're special, aren't you? Now an amateur means you're not a professional. It means you just are um, doing it because it sounds fun and um, you're not somebody that's probably getting paid to do it. So read down here what Golly says. And now this page. <laughs> and let's read what Bing says all together. She says, all righty then. I'm cracking up because I don't know if you noticed Bink's button on her shirt. <laughs> Again, you have to remember the first chapter of this book where the button says, I lost at whack, um, whack a duck. So there's that. Let's take a look at this next page, ready? <laughs> and take a look at this page. Very interesting talent. What are these things that this boy is juggling as his talent? Pickles. Okay, let's <laughs> let's take a look at this illustration. He's juggling the pickles. He gets. He's, I guess he's losing one. Oh, oh dear. Oh, not good. Okay, read this page 33. <laughs> and it looks like we are about to see the next performer. Let's read this page.
Oh, so she's got a cat and she sprays some stuff in her mouth. Oh, okay. Can you even read this? It's kind of squiggly. So war over the rainbow. And then I guess the cat is singing with her. Meow, meow. Yeah, this is okay. There it is. <laughs> okay, okay. So there's Golly. I think she's a little nervous. Oh, if you were to predict how she's feeling right now, how do you think she's feeling? Pretty scared. Looks like she's pretty scared. Let's see. Okay, I am not sure what Golly's talent is as I look at these pictures. And then let's read what the judge says. Oh, so as you look at this illustration, if you were going to predict how Golly is feeling now, how do you think she's feeling? Oh, I like, I like this. So the problem, what is the struggle or the problem that Golly has? Yeah, she was afraid. She got afraid and she really wasn't able to recite the poem that she wanted to in front of an audience. She got stage fright. She got um, scared and a little embarrassed. And so let's see what Bink comes up with as a solution to Golly's struggle. Oh, it looks like she's getting, she's gonna have, she's building a stage. What is Bink using to build a stage? Yeah, she's got some bales of hay. Okay, let's see what Golly's got. <laughs> so we had so far we've had two adventures at the state fair with golly and bink and i cannot wait to figure out what the last part of this book is when i read with you next time have a great rest of your day